<laughs> we saw Fifty Shades Darker today for to review this, not as like a leisure thing. That's important. It's important to know that we did it for a reason. Yeah, so I went into it with like zero expectations. I think I went into it with very, like even lower than yeah. zero expectations. I was expecting to sit there and like actively vomit everywhere. Yeah. What did you actually think? Um, I think because of that, I actually quite enjoyed it. I think I did it. <laughs> what have I become? <laughs> and it's not, it's not that there weren't parts of it that literally did make me want to punch everybody in I, the world. I laughed a lot and it's not a comedy. No. I found it really interesting because Christian is obviously like, not a great human being. But they somehow managed to create a male character that was worse than him. Yeah, it was, it caught you off guard. I have admittedly read the books. Okay, I haven't. I actively thought like how have they, how have they managed to make Christian look like the good guy in this situation? I think that's probably like the biggest flaw of the movie in my view. So there was this nice, charming, very good looking guy character. We did comment on the good oh, the good lookingness of, so beautiful. of Jack. Of Jack. Yeah. And uh, just complete 180 in a single scene and you're like, oh, he's literally Satan. Uh, were there any good male characters in this film? Christian's dad and brother? Oh, see, I don't even really remember them. Yeah. Anastasia was actually a pretty, she was very strong. She's pretty badass. Good on your Dakota Johnson. Yeah, for being that She person. was sexually harassed by um, previously mentioned Jack. Dish. And she self-defensed him off. <laughs> she did. Should we go through some of the quotes from the movie? We'll take you Just on, a, on a mental journey. Of what, of what we what we saw. No, I did actually really like the soundtrack. I was like jamming to Halsey and Taylor. And I was actually very impressed with the costumes and makeup, which is something I always notice in movies. We're gonna get like to them. the underwear, but the underwear was the continuity errors. There are some yeah. continuity errors in regards to underwear, but we'll get to that. There's a lot of cool clothes in the mm -hmm. movie. Um, they wasted the makeup. We'll get to that. Um, <laughs> the scene. Okay. Well, I'll be I'll be Christian Gray. And you'll be Anastasia for this line. She's found out something about me that's very important. Why didn't you tell me that? I did. You were asleep at the time. <laughs> when you're, you're asleep, if someone's talking to you, that doesn't count, right? Because like you haven't heard it, you haven't acknowledged it. You're literally unconscious. So what we got from this is that Christian's an idiot. This one from the trailer, one of my faves. <laughs> I, will ha I, I will have dinner with you. Because I am hungry. Um, Which is a good reason to eat dinner in my book. It's an excellent reason. I yeah. cannot fault you on that. But so throughout the movie, they would buy food and they'd buy wine and they'd buy beer. There was not one point in the movie where anybody finished their beer or their wine or their food. I think there was one point where Christian took the glass of wine out of Anastasia's hand and I was like, oh, <laughs> if somebody did that to me, I would cut them. They were in the restaurant and there were two, two shoots of flute, flutes, flutes, two shoots of plantain. And they were like talking about going, they were like, will you come, he was like, will you come back to my apartment with me or something like that. And um, I just lost it. Yeah, yeah, she yelled in the cinema. I was like, will you just finish your wine for the first time in your <laughs> life? We yelled a lot in the cinema. Like there was, I, only, there was only us, like six of us. Right? Six of us in the in the whole cinema. Um, naturally, for a movie like this, I have never in my entire life walked out of a restaurant or a bar without finishing my drink. I could be vomiting and I will finish it. That's dedication. There, that's probably not true either. But <laughs> wasn't that scene in the restaurant where he's like, "Take off your patties," and both of us just yelled out, "What?" Realistically, could you actually do that without somebody noticing? It's like the the, see, the spoilers galore in this review, by the way. Oh, sorry. oh yeah. In the elevator, when it's is post removing her underwear in the restaurant in front of everybody, in a tight dress, by yeah. the way. He bends down and pretends to tie his shoelace up, and then like drags his hand all like. You don't have the right to just go like sticking your fingers in some girl's vagina. Like she might want it, <laughs> but this is a public space. The whole movie, we were like this. 
I mean, I say she was she was much strong a much stronger character compared to the first one. Yeah. Like to be fair, but the whole movie, I was like. I feel like she's trying to make this relationship work, but she doesn't really like it. This is exactly how I felt. It was like every every interaction they had was like en ended negatively. Yeah. What freaks me out the most is that she's like so aware, right, that he went looking for women that looked like his mother. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. I think one conversation they had, she's like, you can't tell me. What to do? I've just changed my mind about her completely, haven't I? She's like, you can't tell me what to do! And he was like, come to my bedroom. And she's like, no! And he's like, yes. And she's like, okay. Like that, you caved really quickly. This is the bit where Christian invites her to a ball. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna have... <laughs> this is exactly how Christian Grey acts. He's like, I'm going to a ball. Like, with my mum, who... It's not my birth mum, who you look like. But the, one, the one who adopted me. The, my adopted been, mom. Yeah. But the, there's a whole thing. Uh, I'm going to a ball. <laughs> Do you come to the ball with me? But like, um, I have nothing to wear. And um, what am I going to do with my hair? Also, she drew on his... There was just... I'm not going to explain why, but she draws on his body with lipstick. And I was like... It's like a $40 lipstick. Lucky he put 24 grand in her account so she could go and buy Just another buy one. more lipsticks. But there was a continuity error because I swear like 20 scenes later he took off his shirt and there was unsmudged lipstick still yeah. on him. And I was like... And he was wearing a white tuxedo shirt as well. So it's yeah. like surely during the night he would have like sweated a bit. Yeah. And then she, they go to the ball, she wears his dress and then later on they go up to his like childhood bedroom. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> You really just don't need to watch this movie. It's a bit shit. It did have more of a storyline than the last one, but the storyline still didn't start until like three quarters of the way through the movie. I got about halfway through the movie, which was, you know, about um, 7,000 hours in. And I was like, I don't actually know what... Like, this movie could end and I'll be like, there's nothing that needs to be resolved. Nothing's happened. Because it was obviously a lot of sex scenes, but you were like, he never takes off his pants. <laughs> <laughs> they were in the shower and he was fully clothed. I just don't, it just blows my mind that someone can have sex and like <laughs> have their belt still around their waist. Like, is that not just gonna like, do you know what I mean? And like, jeans aren't comfortable at the best of times. I wouldn't see it again. I'd see it more than I would see, um, Independence Day 2. <laughs> but um, I'd still, again, rather watch Scary Movie 3. Scary Movie 3. Any of the scary movies. Definitely better than Fifty Shades Darker. Yeah. I'm just waiting for the day where we find a movie better than Scary Movie 3. First of all, I'd like to say that I was really, really pissed off that they used Coldplay's The Scientist at the beginning because that song is like... You know, everyone's heard it, everyone's felt a little bit sad when they listened to it. And they took this movie, which is basically about an abusive relationship, and they put, like, you know, this this healthy end... Uh, what am I trying to say? This, <laughs> this song that's probably about a healthy relationship ending, and they, they wormed it into the movie, and it's like, you can't just use Coldplay like that, and they can't be used. I don't even think the movie had started, but the music had, and Yasmin was like, here we go. <laughs> 